Uh, hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to determine suitable position of balancing a uh, line from a mass hole curve. So in this method, uh, we use the vertical ordinates plotted on the same distance scale as the longitudinal section representing the algebraic sum of the correction volumes and those volumes are for cut and fill here we will look at a question paper under diploma 3 2016 november for building civil engineering and architecture learners the question uh, goes as follows question number six the volumes between section along a 1200 meter length of a proposed road are shown in the table five plot a mass hole diagram for the length of road using a vertical scale of one centimeter to 1000 um, meters cube and the horizontal scale of one centimeter to 100 meter hence determine suitable position of balancing line so that Roman 1, an equal surplus of chainage 0 and chainage 1,200 meters. Roman 2, a surplus at chainage 1,200 meters but none at chainage 0. Roman 3, a surplus at chainage 0 but none at chainage 1,200 meters. Uh, here we have been given a table. Uh, having two uh, columns on the first column we have the changes on the second column we have the volume between sections uh, in meters cubic uh, there we have our changes from one uh, up to 1200 and then we have been given volumes uh, for the same uh, we have a volume for plus and also we have a volume with a negative sign on top so we are going ahead and we'll see uh, where those signs apply and in which criteria are we going to use them for answers first we make a table of four columns on which the first will be where our changes stay second is for cut third for fill and the last columns are for cumulative volumes. Starting with changes at 100 meters, so our zero change uh, we had nothing there. So starting with changes at 100 meters, our volume has a positive sign. Hence, we place it on the second column. So as the changes at 200 and 300 also are to be placed on the uh, second column in our second column there we have cut and cut is being represented with a positive sign then for fill it's a negative sign uh, at 400 meters we see for the first time a negative uh, 900 meters on the volume section hence placing it on the filling column so that will be on the third uh, column Lastly, on our fourth column, we calculate the cumulative volume at each single change, starting with the uh, positive 2100 that we had begun with. We add for the cut and we subtract for the fill. So I've illustrated that. You can see in the diagram uh, by use of calculator, uh, you will get the correct answer. So you do the same until you finish. Having finished that, we calculate the total volume for cut and fill and add them together. That provides us with a check and confirmation that we are right. So we'll do a separate uh, addition for cut. As you can see, I have done there and a separate addition for fill. By adding those two, we'll have already proven our check is right because that will provide us the last cumulative volume 
are found on the last chainage that is 1200 meters. Moving on ahead, we are to plot for this length of road to a suitable scale and determine their suitable position for the balancing lines so that there is, uh, as you can see there in the question paper, Roman 1, the surplus at chainage 1200 but none at 0, Roman 2, the surplus at chainage 0 but none at chainage uh, 1200. The last and equal surplus at chainage 0 and chainage 1200. As observed on the screen, here I did try to sketch the muscle curve using the input component of the computer, but I never did get uh, those smaller details. Going on, I had done earlier a hand sketch drawing and it gave me much more information. Uh, using a graph paper, that becomes easy. Uh, first, we plot the longitudinal sexual uh, using the horizontal scale of 1 into 1000 and the vertical scale of 1 into 100. We'll obtain a good curve for answering the questions. So I did the, the opposite. Uh, I saw it based uh, the vertical to be represented by a scale of 1. To 100 and the horizontal one to 1000 in order for my curve to be smooth. We'll have our cumulative volumes for both cut and fill. On the vertical scale, the changes will be observed. Going back to the table, we plot all our values as seen here in front of you. Assuming a freehold distance of 400 meters, all the terms uh, that I'm going to use here, I'll make sure to provide a PDF uh, on the link below in order to explain those terms. So I'm not going to deal much in the explanation of those terms, but I'm sure that can be done easily by you understanding are uh, the simple concept explained in English. Again, we can obtain both our backward and four uh, free holes from the peak of our curves. In simple terms, the top of the curve provides them. So the top of both curves, the fill and the cut, uh, will provide our backward free hole and our forward free hole. Uh, giving us a forward free hole of uh, 6,600 meters at changes, uh, that is 320 meters. Uh, all that can be seen in the curve. And the backward free hole of 8,200 meters cubic at changes, 820 meters seen there on the curve. Freehold distance can be drawn at changes 320 meters by use of the distance where our assumption of 400 meters was taken. Here, dividing 400 meters by 2 will get each 200 meters. On the 320 meter change mark, we'll move forward at a distance of 200 meters 
and also we'll do the same in backward direction with that 100 meters after obtaining those points on the chain edges uh, our answer so our answer there will be uh, 120 meters and 520 meters will make points on the curve where they cut and draw a straight line connecting them that will be repeated on the chain edges uh, the other chain edge so that will be repeated on the 820 meter mark uh, we move on to finding the freehold volume calculated from so that is a simple formula so it's calculated from the intercept between G and H and point L then we'll add the same for the other curve interception of JK and M1 so that will give us our uh, freehold volume there uh, this is the volume from the freehold to the freehold distance you can see on the curve uh, it's illustrated well there so if you draw the curve well uh, using the graph all your information will be provided uh, in a smooth and right manner After which our overhaul volume can be obtained from getting the value where our freehold distance cuts. Average hole distance represented there on the curve by CD and PQ can be found from the center line LM as observed there on the curve. That means we divide the cumulative volume obtained uh, from the free hole or the hole volume by two so we divide the free hole there by two after which where our curve cuts our answer the answer will be 3300 meters cubic at the two places a straight line is drawn and the changes obtained the distance between the chain edges gives us the average hole distance. The same is done to the other curve. Lastly, we observe the average overhaul distance obtained from the center line of GH and M. At GH, the cumulative volume of 2600 is divided by 2. We obtain 1300 meters cube, which on the curve cuts two points, after which the changes of the two points are obtained and the distance between them calculated. Likewise, we do the same to the other curve. So here we are doing for the fill and for the cut. Having completed our question, where the balance line AB gives us a surplus at chain edges 1200 but none at zero, two, the balance line CD gives us a surplus at chain edges zero but none at 1200, three, the balance line EF situated midway between AB and CD will give us equal surplus at the end having done that i've answered all those questions that we needed uh, to do the same so repeat this question understand it look for more examples and work out that will be all